Hi everyone, I'm Nadia Holst from sportsbookreview.com and you can join in our conversation on Twitter hashtag SBRNapia. The Denver Broncos will host the Indianapolis Colts on the opening Sunday of NFL regular season at Sports Authority Field in Denver. The opening kickoff is slated for 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Both of these teams are coming off successful seasons in 2013. The Colts were the winners of the AFC South with a record of 11 and 5 and advanced the AFC Divisional Round of the playoffs before losing to the New England Patriots. The Broncos won the AFC West by going 13 to 3 and they advanced all the way to the Super Bowl before losing to the, to the Seattle Seahawks. Joining us now to give an early preview on the betting value is professional handicapper Ross. Ross, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Nadia. Is there anything significant in regards to the point spread or total in this contest that you can bring to the, to the viewer's attention? Absolutely. I, I think we're looking at a very unique situation with the total. No matter how you cut it, a total of 55 in an NFL game is extremely high. This is in college football. Very seldom do you see a, a total exceed 50, let alone get in this range of 55. Putting it into perspective, Nadia, mm -hmm. since 1983, that's 31 years of results, just 69 games have had a total of 54 or more in the NFL, and just two of those happened on the opening week of the season. So that's how rare this is. And currently, we're seeing 59% of the general public money still wagering on the over. During the past three seasons, when the majority of public wagering has gone over the total, as opposed to under the total in the Denver Broncos game, the public has just been right in 12 of 31 of those instances. That's 38.7% over the last three years. Again, this favors the books is going under the total. Interesting. And what kind of movement, if any, do you project to occur in the days leading up to this game? That's a good question. Based on that fact uh, that Denver is gone nine and one at home since 2013 and covered seven of those 10 games, I don't think it would be a stretch to say that the money will continue to come in on a greater rate on the Broncos compared to the Colts as the week progresses. It also must be noted as good as Andrew Luck, the quarterback of the Indianapolis Colts has been since entering the league in 2012, his team is only four and eight ATS as a road underdog since he's arrived in the league with the Colts. So I think we're going to see a lot of money go toward the Denver Broncos as the week progresses. I'm not sure if the line will go much past seven and a half or eight, though, uh, in that instance. Okay, and that said, do you have an early lean? Well, I mean, again, it's sort of early to make a projection at this point. I would say it uh, from a logical standpoint, you're looking at a Denver team that's been very successful on the road. And as I just alluded to, the Indianapolis Colts, as good as they've been the last two years, have struggled as a road underdog. So my early lean here would be toward the Denver Broncos. Ross, thank you again for your insight. I appreciate it, Nadia. For SportsbookReview.com, this is Nadia Holtz.